Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about walls in Revit. Now I'm not going to be covering all of the bases around walls, I already have tutorials on that and I'll be leaving the links to those in the description of this video just down below. But as far as representing walls in Revit, now one of the constant complaints I always get from people is that Revit has its own way of doing things and you can't change it and it's ugly and the wall representation is ugly and you can't really represent your walls in a way that you would like to represent them like this. This is what we're going to be covering in today's tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how Revit actually has tools that allow you to create walls in a very specific way like you would in AutoCAD or in any other like just drafting software. You can actually have a very nice representation of walls in Revit. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's tutorial. But before I get into that, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week, I make multiple tutorials and also I do one advanced Balkan Architect course which is available on my Patreon, first link in the description, all of these courses are over one hour long, I have over 30 of them so far. And also there you can find uh, some of my uh, project files, Revit project files, I have over 300 files so far. Okay, so without that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So let me switch here to my uh, computer screen. And as you can see here, we're just in the uh, like the, 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 the starting page of uh, Revit. And let me go here and start a new model project. So let's just go to new. And I'm going to go with the architectural template for this one. And let's click OK. And there we go. Here we are in Revit. Maybe expand our project browser a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to be changing the units. So just type in UN to change the units, project units, or alternatively, you can go here to your manage tab and here you should have project units. There we go. And I just go to length and I'm just going to change this to centimeters. I'm guessing if you're using the imperial system, you would go with the inches or something like that. But there we go. We have set our units now correctly. Okay, let's go to wall and let's just uh, revit defaults to the basic wall and let's just just leave it at that and just do one basic wall over here. Now I'm going to select this wall and let's go to the south elevation just like this okay and the level 2 I'm going to drop that down to 120 centimeters and then I'm going to attach the top of this wall here the top constraint from unconnected to level 2. And there we go. So we have this wall that's 120 centimeters high. And let's say it's some sort of a wall for your, uh, I don't know, like the, the garden fence or wall or whatever. So now we have this wall. Now if I go here into level one and let's maybe do a section through that, just like this. Open that section up and let's go here into level of detail and set it to fine. There we go, it looks like this, pretty basic. Okay, so now let's explore how can we add a bit more complexity to this wall. Now, of course, I'm just going to talk about layers first. Now, if you're familiar with layers, this is going to be very easy for you. So you basically go here to structure and then here we have the main structural element and let's uh, let's put in some uh, blocks, some concrete blocks. So let's go here to uh, maybe let's search for masonry. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Masonry. We can get rid of this. Okay, let's see. Do we have some CMU? Okay, the, here we go. So you have a bunch of these CMU uh, blocks. So I'm just going to go here to maybe this one, the, the, ba the basic one, and let's just load it in and hit apply. Okay, and there we go. So we, let's say we have a 20 centimeter thick CMU lightweight block. Let's insert a few more layers, bring them up so this will be some sort of an insulation, thermal insulation layer. Now I'm going to go with some insulation and let's see what Revit gives us. I'm going to go with the maybe uh, poly, 
one of those uh, foam type materials let's go with this one load that one and hit apply okay and for thickness I'm going to go with 15 centimeters that being the like the, the industry standard in my country as far as insulation for uh, just residential uh, buildings let's add one more a layer in and that will be the like the finish layer it will be a brick layer so I'm going to go with let's say 10 centimeter uh, thickness and let's go with brick and let's use this common brick okay there we go and uh, let's add a few more layers or one more layer I'm going to add it over here on the bottom let's bring it down here as you can see this is the interior side this is the exterior that's why we have the exterior brick here and here just for function I'm going to change it to finish and add this one as well this will be finish layer and this will be just a gypsum wall board there we go and let's do like one centimeter of that or maybe two okay hit okay apply okay and there we go we have some layers now so as you can see this wall now has a layers now what I suggest you always do is turn on your uh, uh, thin lines or turn it off so you can have realistic realistic representation of your line weights then I'm going to move this to 1 to 50 uh, representation and now let's start adding detail to this wall or maybe even 1 to 25 Okay, so the first thing is insulation. You would never represent insulation in this way in your project. So for that Revit has here on our annotate tab, we have the insulation option. And here as you can see, we have that batting line. Now for this batting line, as you can see, we cannot really snap to the center of this insulation layer. This is the insulation layer. And the only thing where we can snap is the center line. Of the whole wall and we don't want that so what we can do for our insulation line is just go here and instead of center let's switch to near side and then you go for this line and there we go so we have our insulation line now currently as you can see it's uh, a bit uh, too small so let's uh, give it the width uh, and the width should be the width of the insulation layer which is 15 centimeters so let's just let's just type in 15 and then let's go and there we go. Now notice that here it's kind of overlapping here with these exterior lines and I don't like that. So what I like to do uh, because of that for my insulation lines I like to make it a bit smaller so let's try 14 and there we go. So we have just a tad a bit of space over here and I think it just looks a bit nicer. So there we go we have our insulation line but let's now look at the bricks and the CMU blocks. So looking at the bricks uh, this is the representation of bricks and this is nice when you have maybe some coarse or large scale but this being 1 to, uh, 1 to 25 it's actually well, it's actually quite a large scale. It, sh it will be big on a piece of paper. So let's take a look at how can we make this look a bit nicer. So for that, we have these uh, details here. So let's see, annotate. And here we have these detail components. Now you have your detail components. And as you can see, you can add some profiles. And here uh, we have some brick profiles. Let's do the section brick. There we go. Now you can place this brick like this, but the better option is to go here and instead of component, go to repeating component. And there Revit actually has an option where you can like do multiple bricks like this. Now this looks really nice actually. Uh, but the bricks here are not the ones that I want to use. So if these are not the bricks that you want to use, you can go here into edit type and here we have uh, some options for the detail and in this case we only have the UK standard. Now you can load in more of these bricks, so what, uh, what you can do for that is uh, just go here to your insert tab, go to load family. I'm going to switch back to, uh, oops, uh, to US metric and here uh, let's go with uh, detail items go to masonry uh, let's go to clay masonry and here we have uh, bricks section and just open that up so it's just one family but when you select these bricks here go into edit type you're going to see that a lot more bricks have been added so you need to go here to section and then do you want on Dario or whatever so you hit apply and then you're basically just looking at the uh, the size of this thing so let's just turn on 10 lines for now let's just measure the length of this thing okay this is close but the height as you can see the brick is 
uh, the brick is probably six centimeters plus one centimeter of this like mortar so we have uh, uh, and the offset here is 75 so the whole brick with mortar is seven centimeters so we need to select this whole detail component which is like a line based family as you can see it expands but we need to go here into edit type and just change the spacing from 7.5 to 7 hit enter and apply and there we go it looks much better now sometimes it might look like this like the lines are missing but if you zoom in those lines will show okay so now I'm just going to move this here to this edge and then uh, you can just expand it all the way to the top like this there we go, we have our bricks in place. Now uh, we have the bricks in place, but let's take a look at here the CMU blocks. So for that, what you can do is just go back to your annotate tab, go to your uh, component and let's go to repeating component and let's go here into edit type and let's duplicate the brick and call it CM, CMU block hit enter but again we don't really have many options for that or any options for that here at the details so what we need to do is go again to your insert tab go into load family and let's load some of them in so let's go back let's go to concrete masonry units here we have the CMU let's go with the three core section and now make sure you're going for section just because we're doing a section view here and then hit open and there we go architecture uh, or annotate go to component repeating detail component let's go to where's our new type okay let's try that again cmu There we go, our new type. And now when we open up this drop menu, here we have many of these CMU ones. So let's go with the, let's see what we have here. Let's go with the 200 by 200 by 200. I like that one. And then for spacing, let's expand spacing to, well, 200 or 20 centimeters. Hit OK. There we go. So now if I start placing here, I'm just hitting the space key to orient it to the other side. And there we go, we have our uh, our concrete units. And this is what they look like. So basically just take a look here. Okay, these look fine. And there we go, we have our wall. Now keep in mind that if we change maybe this uh, a little bit, uh, you will have to adjust the bricks and the uh, CMU blocks and your insulation. But as you can see, it's not that difficult. Uh, it's, it's just a few lines and you just extend those few lines and that's it. And just one more bonus thing for this tutorial that I wanted to show you, and that's how to do these uh, top sweeps like caps on top of your walls. So for that, you can do that really simple. It's just a sweep. So you go here into edit type for your wall. Let's move it to the side, go to preview and let's go to section. There we go. Let's zoom to the top of this thing. There we go. And then we can go here into edit uh, structure, uh, go to sweeps. Uh, let's see sweeps. There we go. Now you can uh, load in a profile. Now for this profile, let's go back a few folders, go back to us metric, go to profiles. Now here we have uh, walls and here we should have the uh, cap precast. Open that up. Now uh, let's add that profile here. So we should have that cap profile. Okay, here we go. Let's go with the 45 millimeter and make sure you just go here to from. So basically where you're measuring from and you should measure from the top of your wall and then let's give it no offset. Let's just hit apply. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's a bit small. Let's go with the 600 one. Let's see. Okay, looks a bit better. Now uh, you can give it an offset. Let's give it a five centimeter offset. Hit apply. Yeah, looks a bit more centered, maybe six. There we go, looks a much, a much better. And here for the material, you can just use any material. Let's go with some concrete. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. Hit apply, okay. Okay, apply, okay, and there we go. So no matter how much we change this wall, as you can see that little uh, cap will move along with it. And if we go into 3D, this is what our wall 
will look like and it actually looks really cool and here we have that uh, brick on this end just be on this facade just because that's where we had our brick uh, placed on our wall okay so that covers this tutorial i hope you have learned something new and i hope you think this looks cool and i hope you can use it in your future projects so if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below if you would like some advanced uh, revit courses i have over 30 courses so far so that's over 30 hours of content so check out my patreon first a link in the description to access all of that as well as all of my uh, Revit project files like this file that I've just created in this tutorial okay so that's pretty much it for uh, this quick tutorial thank you for watching and have a nice day